Welcome back to Dark Horizons Mechanized Core. I'm Demystix, and I will be your guide today. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial of the Hangar Basics. To get there, simply click Hangar on the main menu, and it'll bring up this screen. If you're new to the Hangar, uh, you will only have the first four mechs on, uh, ready to go, which is the Switchblade 1, the Viper 1, the Malice 1, and the Abolisher 1. You'll also have a build mech button, uh, which you can build up to 25 additional mechs over the four starter mechs. Uh, you begin the game with 5 million credits plus 50,000 for every day you log in. That should give you plenty to build a couple of larger mechs or a good variety of smaller mechs. Today, we are going to be building, from the forums, my alternate starter mech, the Malice 2J. So we are going to click Build Mech. First thing we want to do is, under Chassis Options, all the way down at the bottom, click the Chassis to change our chassis to the Malice. Uh, also under chassis options, we have the nose decal, the logo decal, paint scheme, where we can change it to stripes, camo, etc. We could also set a primary and secondary color. Uh, as well, we can change those to be custom colors if none of the ba these defaults here suit you. We're just going to go with the gray for today, though. But next on the list, we have grunge level. Because this is kind of a starter mech, we're going to crank the grunge level up to 100%. Uh, additional armor will come back to later. For now, we're going to jump over to the hard points on the right. For this mech, we are going to go with a lot of the quad jugger gatling cannons. Uh, if you mouse over them, you notice it gives a lot of information on them such as their damage, their type, uh, their accuracy, etc. We're just going to quick throw on four of these. Uh, next thing we want to do is check our weapon groupings. These are important to check because you always want them to be firing the way you want in battle. You don't want, because you can't edit this once the mech is complete until you can come back to the hangar. Uh, so this can't be done on the fly. Uh, the fifth slot is reserved to fire everything all at once, which is pretty good. Um, otherwise, we have one and two to fire them. We won't really need that. We'll, we'll probably always be firing on group five on these. Uh, to change them, though, you would just click which ones you want to be on. They can be on all five or none if, for whatever reason, you didn't want to be able to fire it. Uh, this mech also on the top back has countermeasures to help divert homing missiles, and we're going to throw on jump jets. Uh, you'll notice this screen come up a lot more for you than it does for me, but it's basically telling me I don't have any in, any in my inventory and wants to know if I'd like to purchase it. Of course we do, so we can put it on our mech. Uh, this price is a lot lower for me than it is for you because, again, I had all four of these quad juggers in my inventory, so I don't have to rebuy them. So once we're done, we can look at the bottom and see our max speed. Our max speed is 81. That's pretty fast for a Malice still, so we can go down a little bit on that. Uh, always, so this brings us down to 79. Uh, so we'll back it up just one to bring us back up to 80 kilometers an hour. That's a pretty fast speed, and I'm good with being able to move that fast. Uh, much slower than that, and you're going to have a hard time getting across the big maps. So for this, then we're going to click Build, and it wants a name for it. And this one is the Malice 2N. Oh, sorry, the Malice 2J. And then we're going to hit OK. Uh, deducts the credits from our account, hit OK, and now it brings us back to this menu. Uh, we can choose to sell a mech we no longer want, and it gives you the option to sell the mech with all the weapons and equipment, or just the chassis, putting the rest of your stuff in the inventory. This will be an important choice once they implement uh, 
a less than 100% return on your purchased item. Uh, so we don't want to sell any of it though because we just built this so we're going to hit decline. Um, you can go back in to edit your mech just by hitting edit. But once you're done you hit select and it'll bring us back to the main menu where we can begin playing. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any additional questions, please go ahead and ask me on the forums. Until then, good luck and have fun.